Hey there. Let's set up a local single player session of Minecraft with crowd control. The first thing you'll want to do is select Minecraft in the games list. When you do, you'll see these options. Go ahead and select the top one. Next, you'll see configure Minecraft on the right side of the app. Go ahead and click that. Then we'll go ahead and click local. And next it'll ask for the framework we want. We're going to select fabric as it's the one that updates the fastest and also has the most features. You'll see that mod is installed. If this doesn't happen, feel free to reach out to support. We can go ahead and launch our server. You'll notice a black window pop up. Go ahead and leave this up as we'll need that to connect. Once this is all loaded up, we can go ahead and load up Minecraft. And we'll want to hit multiplayer even though we're in a single player game. Hit add server. Let's go ahead and rename this to crowd control. And then for our server address, per the guide, we're going to want to put 127.0.0.1. And hit done. Go ahead and select it and now hit join server. And once we load in, you'll notice a lot of text in the chat window. You can hit T to keep that open. What you want to do is click right where it says click here on this message. And what that'll do is it'll silently copy a URL to your clipboard that you'll want to then paste in a browser. Go ahead and hit submit. Then go ahead and hit authorize. And then go ahead and log in. Once you do this, you should see login successful and you'll notice this text in game. And now we can go ahead and send effects. We've got plenty of effects to choose from, so feel free to check them out. We also recommend that you test before going live just to ensure you don't have any problems while you're streaming. Let's talk about a couple additional things. If you've played before and would like to reset and start a new world, then you could delete the world folders on your server, which will generate a new seed the next time it loads. More information on how to do this is listed in our game guide. When it comes to server commands, you'll want to exclude any backslashes from your commands. You'll also want to run these commands from the black server window that opened when you hit launch server. We have a link to some useful commands in our game guide. As far as hardcore mode, although you can enable it, it is not necessarily recommended as you will have to restart your session upon every death, which can be quite often depending on how often your viewers send effects. We instead recommend using the paper framework with our Fahari plugin, which generates a new world upon death without closing the server. More information on how to do that is also listed in the game guide. For any other questions, please refer to the game guide. And if you're still having issues, you can always reach out to us on Discord for more support. Thanks for choosing Crowd Control, and we hope you enjoy your session.